I pull out my paper and I start going through it. Okay, the ads, like this is a Toys R Us. This is a Michaels ad. They do have a 40% off on one item, so I, so I will cut that and then if I need it this week, I'll use it. So I'll, I'll, I put that in a pile of stuff I need to go through and cut off of. This is Big Five. There's nothing in there that I use. I will save this Walmart ad. Just this is one of our stores. I put that down because that will be one I for sure will have in my binder this week so that I can price match with it. Old Navy. I'm just going to go through these. Kmart, I use that for price matching. Office Max, I will go through that one to see if there's any coupons or anything this week in it. Best Buy, same thing. Here's another ad. Now, Rite Aid's one that I hang on to. And then here's my Red Plum. Put that in my pile. Some more stuff. Shopco. I looked through it, so I put it in the pile that I cut coupons out of. Here's the Smart Source. This is Target. I hang on to it. Smith's Marketplace. They usually have coupons and stuff. I put it in the one. Parade is another one. Sometimes has coupons in it. So I'll hang on to that one. Now this is another ad grocery ad for um, a store and I will hang on to that. And that's how I sort through the paper. Okay, now these are the ones that I saved out that I will go through and look through and see what's in them. Like for the Toys R Us, this is one I will keep for price matching. Parade, I did already look through this. There is no coupons in it, but a lot of times there are, so I do save it out. So that's what I encourage you to do is save it out, look through it. If it's got a coupon and it's something you'll use, cut it. If not, pass it. This is the Smith Marketplace. There's a couple coupons back here. And so if I'm, I'm wanting to pick up any of the type of things that they have there this week, because they'll only last till March 17th. So it goes from Sunday, March 11th to Saturday, March 17th. So I'll cut those. And then I will also look through this paper and see if there's anything else. And see this one here has some more coupons. And so if there's anything here that I'd be interested in, I'd cut those out. And this is why it's important to pull all ads. Here's some more half off on men's jeans, men's Levi jeans. So that's a good discount on Levi jeans. So I'd cut those out if that was something that I was in the market for. Then I have the Shopco ad, again, I go through it, same thing, look to see if there's any coupons. I'm not going to go through all these ads showing you each one of them, but I just want to give you an idea of how I do that to make sure I'm getting the best deals that week I can. So Office Match and Michaels, again, same thing. Then I will take the coupons, the regular coupons like Red Plum, and I will take the packet and I'll pull it apart. Okay, I lay these out. And I take the next one and do the same thing. And I do this until I have them all laid out on top of each other. And once I have them all laid out, then I pick them up and I cut them out with them laying on top of each other so I get more cut out at the same time. So that's how I go through my coupons and make it as simple, as quick as I can. Another thing I do is I will cut out like these ones, those ones, these ones, and those. And Okay, so I will... Cut these out. Have them all stacked together here. Okay. So there's those ones. 
Then I'll look on this thing to see if there's any others. And I cut out coupons for restaurants around here. All right, so I'll finish cutting a few and I'll be right back. So that I don't get overwhelmed, I cut my coupons out a few at a time, like I was saying, and then I will take them and put them in my book. I hope this was helpful to you guys, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Please keep tuning in, and, and I'll do some more helpful coupon videos. Have a great day.